Hi, welcome to Codasaurus Club. Today we've got the Euros game between England and Scotland on Scratch Junior. I'm going to show you how we play. Let's press the green flag. So we've got the Scratch Cat ready to kick the goal ball. And we've got two defenders, well, a defender and a goalkeeper. So let's have a kick. So I'm going to tap the cat and he kicks the ball. Ah, oh, but the defender got in the way. Let's try again. No. Oh, no. Saved. Okay, one more go. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is so tricky. Okay, I'm going to wait. Wait until the right time now. Yes! Finally scored the goal. Now, next up, I'm going to show you how you can build a game just like this in Scratch Junior. Keep tuned. Right, so let's make a game together. We start a new project on Scratch Junior app. Then we want to set the background to be green like a grass pitch. So we go to the background button at the top, use the paintbrush, select a green colour and the paint pot, green grass, and set the tick. Move Scratchy over here. Now for our football game, we need a football and a football goal. So we're going to add a character. Go all the way to the bottom. And there you'll find the ball and the goal. So I'm going to pick the ball first. I'm going to put it next to his foot. And next up, we'll get the goal. And put that over here. So let's work out how to make the cat kick the ball. So what we want to do is that we go to the cat and get a starting trigger. So we want the tap trigger so that when we tap Scratchy, he's going to do something. What he's going to do, he's going to take a step to the right. And we'll just end that. Now, after he's taken a step to the right, we want him to kick the ball. The way we're going to do that is we're going to send a message to the ball to say, right, you've been kicked, it's time to start rolling. I'll just open that up there and I'll get a send message. So we're going to send an orange message. Okay, so let's go to the ball. So when the ball gets the orange message, it's going to start rolling. So to do that, we'll get the receive message block. We have to make sure it's the same colour. So we chose the orange last time, so we're going to use orange again. So when, we, when it gets the orange ball, uh, sorry, the orange message, the ball is going to start moving. So we'll get it to roll. Uh, let's do 15 to the right. Let's test that. It's probably a bit too far, so I'm going to change that to 13. So that's great, at least the ball moves, but it doesn't roll, does it? So what we can do, we can actually get it to roll as well by using another message. So also orange. So at the same time as moving, it's going to be turning. So it doesn't usually work as the same number, so I'm going to try 20. So let's try these two together. So kick scratchy. So I think I just need to add 20. Yeah, a couple more. Let's try again. Brilliant. So I can now kick my ball into the goal. That's a great start. I'm just going to end these. Now, what we'd like to do next is that if the ball goes in the goal, we're going to cheer. So We'll go to the goal and we'll get a bump trigger. So when the ball bumps into the goal, that's when we've scored. Okay, 
So we use the bump and we're going to send a new message. So this message, let's say green. So this is going to be saying, right, the ball's hit the goal. Great, we've scored. So he sends a green message. And that message is going back to the cat. So when he gets a green message, remember to make sure the, the colors always line up. When he gets a green message, he's going to say, yay. So we use one of our purple looks box. So he's actually going to say, goal. You could also record it using the sound rock to say goal as well. Next up, you can choose to add a goalkeeper as well. For now, let's just test what we've done so far. Goal. Ah, now this is interesting. You see, he keeps saying goal. That's because the ball keeps tapping, uh, sorry, keeps bumping into the goal. So the way we can solve that is um, after the goal has been scored, we go to the ball so that after it's finished moving, we're going to get it to reset its position. Oops. But we don't want that straight away. We want it to rest in the goal for a moment. So we use the wait block to wait for one second. So 10 equals one second. So let's try. Go. And then the ball goes back to him. You notice how Scratchy is now too far along. So we actually need to get Scratchy to move back as well. So let's get him to reset too. Great. We've now got a little game that means you can kick a ball into the goal. I'll show you in a later video how to add the goalkeeper in as well. Thanks for watching. I hope you like our video. I'll see you again soon.